what's up you guys it's been a couple days since the unboxing video um i've actually been playing around with it getting used to it this is my new ibanez rga 742 fm seven string jatoba fretboard mahogany body uh flame maple top sorry flame maple top quantum series pickups i already have an rg series and an s series and this is like smack dab right in the middle of both of them. This is a little bit better of a guitar than both of them, but this is your ultimate middle ground. You can do anything with this. This is just beautiful. For stock pickups, for what you just heard, this is pretty great. Like, this is just standard seven tuning, so. not recording any audio right now I'm kind of just messing around I'm a lead player and this is just phenomenal it's really easy to get to all my lower friends it's not so wide where I'm completely having to stretch over the entire fretboard it's really easy to get to everything the cut-in is deep enough oh and that reminded me in the unboxing video I said that the about the hips, yeah, I meant the cut-ins, yeah, sorry about that. I thought that was funny when I was looking back at the footage. <laughs> but the cut-ins are, are contoured, and the binding is phenomenal. I brought it to band practice the day I unboxed it. Everyone was going crazy about it. The pickups are really, you get that nice low. And then you also get those nice crisp highs. Sorry for any sloppiness. I haven't got to play today yet. This is this is me warming up. Uh, it's so new that I still have the plastic on on the pickups. It still needs to be set up a little bit. I can see some of like my high strings are kind of uh, a little bit uneven from the rest. It's kind of raised up a little bit more than it should be. But fresh out of the box, I didn't expect it to be completely perfect. I was really happy that I'm the first person to play this. You know, other than like whoever tests it in the factory or whatever. This is a, a matte finish, it's not gloss, so you get to really feel everything. It's just all that natural wood, and then the matching headstock is just gorgeous. The bridge is just, you know, a standard hardtail. The band that I am with now plays in standard 7, but I am a fan of drop C, and I like tuning that B to match the next drop tuning, if that makes sense. So it'd be like a double drop, I guess. I'm still new to the seven string tuning variations, but that's just what I've found to like so far. But even just like basic power chords and stuff, like. I know a lot of guys hate on Ibanez and like, oh, there's no good Ibanez out there. Ibanez is garbage. Like. I'm not a fan of the Geos, honestly, but the, some of the Geos play really well. I have a, I have an RG2 EX1 and then an Ibanez S420, and those are my babies. I love those guitars to death. They Both of them play great. I have like 20 other guitars that I'm going to be doing reviews on, and you'll get to see all of them, hear what all of them sound like. Ibanez is my go-to brand, and those are my go-to guitars, and this is joining them. If you're in the market for a seven string, uh, this was $500 and uh, we also got it on, uh, I call it Z sounds, but I guess it's called Zounds. Um, we made a, we got the payment plan. I think it was, we did the, uh, I think we did the eight months. We did the eight month plan on Z sounds, Zounds. Um, I'll drop a link in the description below uh, but yeah, check this guitar out. If anyone starts hating on Ibanez, fuck them. They make amazing guitars from super low end to super high end. Not everyone's a fan. Not everyone's going to be a fan of everything. 
I am a collector. I like playing everything. I like having a little bit of variation and dynamic. And this is something phenomenal to have in my arsenal. Thanks guys for checking out this video. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, go check out the unboxing video. I'll see you guys next time. See you later.